Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. And it's harvest day today. It's the 1st of December, first day of winter. And we do a big harvest once a week now in winter. Um, and we harvest everything on the allotment, um, harvest a few bits and pieces from home. And then we do all the cleaning and packing and everything in the house where it's nice and warm and we've got plenty of water, etc, etc. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go a quick run around the plot and show you all the different things we're harvesting and then I'll take you home and I'll show you what it all looks like once it's all cleaned and prepped. And i got to say I'm pretty pleased with the way everything's going. We've got a nice range of veg still. Um, we haven't got a huge amount of fruit. Um, we've got some frozen fruit, fruit, a few apples left. Um, lots of dried apples and dried pears and things like that but uh, it's very hard to be uh, self-sufficient in fruit if you like to eat it fresh all year round. So let's get on. Let's start off with spinach. Uh, we've got quite a lot of nice spinach in the polytunnel. Outside now we haven't got any spinach. Uh, it'll be February time before we harvest any of that. But in here there's still enough for uh, a meal, about a meal a week really of spinach. So I'm going to harvest some lettuces from the polytunnel. Normally I wouldn't harvest from the polytunnel at this time of year because I'm kind of keeping that in reserve. But in order to keep these plants kind of healthy, um, you do need to kind of crop them fairly regularly uh, so you don't get a lot of sort of mouldy leaves. Uh, and these are at the point now where they do need a pick. So I'm going to pick some of those, Grenoble Red. They like lots of different colours and textures. So we'll be picking some of this Bijou and some of these lovely really thick, crunchy, roxy leaves. I'll also pick some freckles and some salad rocket and a few clumps of spring onions from one of the outside beds and a bit of red ruble salad kale. A few leaves of Nevada. A couple of little radicchio hearts. And I've got five tubs of ochre and I picked one of those and I'm pretty pleased with those actually. They're really lovely. Uh, Ocker is kind of a really nice, crunchy, radishy like root, and not many radish at this time of year. I'm just going to pick a few baby carrots as thin ends. I love baby carrots in salad mixes. A bit of a delicacy, so I won't be picking very many. That's it for the salads, so I'm going to pick smoothie mixes now. So, I like a nice mix of brassicas and other greens, and so I'm going to pick some of these radish tops. And these are a winter, watermelon uh, winter radish and they have a really good top. These field bean tips, they're really good. Uh, lots of these on here and on Jenny's these plot. Tender brassica leaves, uh, these are uh, dazzling blue. Some more of this salad kale, uh, this is red ruble. Um, it works well in smoothie mixes, even better than salads really at this time of year. And chard obviously, it's wonderful staple in the salad mixes pretty much all year round and some spring onion greens and some lovely curly kale and that is pretty much it for the smoothie greens so now i'll get on with some stuff for cooking we'll pick some red cabbages and some golden beetroot most of our beetroot is in store now uh, but we're still picking a little bit from the ground and some of our giant winter carrots Oops. Some perennial kales. These are really lovely at this time of year. Debbie got here before me, but uh, we are going to pick, well, she's just picked some Romanesco cauliflower. We don't have any broccoli at the moment, so uh, Romanesco is as close as we can get. And some sprouts, and some colettes, and some Carvalho Nero, and some red curly kale. And green curly kale. At this point we start raiding the store so we'll probably take a few squash. And then these are my uh, baby new potatoes and notionally these are for Christmas but obviously we've got loads here so and we've got quite a few at home. I'm home now and so I fill up all these containers with cold tap water, give everything a good rinse. At this time of year there's not too many slugs but um, we will find some slugs in there and if you don't give them a good wash then uh, obviously they end up in the mixes and with the brassica leaves I'm mainly trying to get rid of all the white fly you can see there's a little bit of white fly on here so 
I give these uh, a good rinse. Nothing worse than white fly everywhere. Here's that little Romanesco cauliflower that Debbie picked. And yeah, everything's looking all right. And there's some of those carrots, give those a good wash. And everything gets a good spin in the spinner. So one of the things we love to do is make up these mixes for people. And you know, that I think this is one of the things that we can do, you can't do uh, with supermarket veg is such a wide range of different greens in such a kind of compact, you know, one meal uh, selection. So what we've got, for example, in here is we've got some little bits of calabrese, black carrots, orange carrots, Romanesco cauliflower, red cabbage, three or four different types of uh, brassica greens. And so they make up into a lovely little selection box. And, you know, one of the things I think, you know, really improves your health if you eat a very wide variety of different veg. So then we've got lots of uh, collets and spring onions for cooking and more carrots. And then these are just all brassica greens, collets, curly kales, various different colours. Lots of these amazing sprouts. So again, our cooked green selection boxes. So then following on in the uh, mixes theme, these are our smoothie mixes. Uh, we have about nine different types of leafy greens. And we always try for a good mix of greens that are high in oxalic acid and ones that are low in oxalic acid. You don't want to get too much. You definitely don't want just spinach, for example, in your smoothie mixes. You want a nice big selection, lots of different colors. So it's coming on. And here's the last of the mixes. These are the salad mixes. And they're mainly lettuce leaves at this time of year. Um, but we have got some radicchio uh, and some rocket in there and then we've got what we think of as the sprinkles that we add on top so we've got some little carrots we've got these nicely cleaned up ochre as i say they're quite a sour crunchy radishy sort of thing but they, they are a little bit sour um, and then we've got some spring onions and spring onion greens chopped up and uh, that's the radicchio and then we actually had to buy some stuff so we buy a few grapes and shock horror we had to actually buy some tomatoes as well we have now run out of tomatoes and so we were out of tomatoes until probably I don't know, april time something like that so i'm gonna add those sprinkles here's the last of our homegrown cucumbers mm, so there you go Sprinkles all added, and that's the whole lot. Probably forgot that I've just we've got picked a few onions, a bit of spinach, a few potatoes, and beets, some more um, beets and carrots, and beets and carrots. That carrot split, but uh, it's perfectly edible. So there you go, I'm pleased that's all done. And of course that's not all we eat because obviously we've got loads of stuff in the store and loads of preserves and loads of stuff in the freezer so uh, we don't go hungry i'll see you soon